welcome to learn data it's great to have you on this channel i'm nilesh and in this video we'll look at nearest neighbors in previous video we looked at uh, the different types of distances uh, that can be uh, calculated in between different data sets in this video we'll look at nearest neighbors which use uh, those distances and in this particular video we'll look at the intuition behind uh, three different algorithms brute force ad tree and ball tree and these are the three algorithms that are used in the nearest neighbor to find the closest data points to uh, our, de our test data point so the very first one is brute force in this particular method let's say we have these data points that are shown here on the plot on the left hand side the what we essentially do in this case is uh, let's say we have this uh, query point or test point uh, marked by the red x uh, we in a brute force, met brute force method we calculate the distance to each and every uh, data point that's available in the space so we calculate all the distances and then find the distance that is smallest in this case this 1.41 is the smallest and so we assign that point as the point nearest to the uh, query point or nearest to this x data point that we have now in kd tree uh, this is a different method in which a tree is constructed first and then when a new data point comes in uh, that uh, data point is walked along that tree to find the nearest data point so this is how it works i've listed the steps here we'll walk through them as well so the very first point we a part we do is we pick a feature at random so let's say we just have two features x and y so we'll pick a feature x and then we'll take the coordinates x coordinates for all the data points find its median and then divide the data set into two halves based on those median so here we have one two three five seven and eight are the data points for x and so the median in this case would be four so we divide the entire data set into two halves based on this median shown here by the dotted orange line so that's our first partition which divides the data into left and right sets now we repeat the process and in this process in the next step first uh, we looked at feature x now we'll look at feature y so we will be looking at all the y coordinates of the data points in the left half and uh, and then a second set of data is on the right where we look at the y coordinates of the data points on the right side so for the left we have these three data points so we have six four and two and so we get the median as four uh, and therefore we draw a partition at four and so this again divides the uh, left side into top and bottom now let's come back to the right side so on the right side we have uh, y coordinates three six and eight so we get the median as six we create a partition at uh, y is equal to six so that again divides the right side into top and bottom uh, parts next we continue this process so now we have this well, bottom left side which we divide again by partition 4 and again the top side we divide by partition 5 again the right bottom we divide by partition 6 and our top right our top right we divide by partition 7 so that's how we get this decision tree the, uh, the kd tree that is created on the right hand side now let's suppose we have a new data point six five shown here by the red x and we need to find the nearest neighbor to this data point so the way it would work is we traverse through this tree so we first look at the x coordinate so x coordinate is greater than or equal to four it's greater than four so we move on the right hand side next we look at the y coordinate is y coordinate greater than or less than six it is uh, less than six so we move to the left uh, side of the branch 
and we arrive at this particular partition 6 so we calculate the distance to the data point at partition 6 and uh, we see that that distance is 2.83 and so that's the minimum distance we have for now but then we also need to check the adjacent uh, cells because if we draw a circle around that it intersects uh, adjacent partitions so we need to check all those as well so the very first one we can check is uh, the 0.56 and we see that that distance is 1.41 so we go ahead and update our minimum distance to 1.41 and then uh, to because we cross this partition we can check the distance to that partition and it's 2 which is already larger than 1.41 so we need not go inside here and look at all the data points now again uh, because we went into this partition uh, we look at the distance between uh, this and 7 8 and uh, again find out that uh, this still is the smallest distance and so we assign 0.56 as the nearest point to the 0.65 now let's look at another example where we have the 0.68 now this point is uh, in this particular age partition and again we traverse through this tree so uh, we have 6 6 is greater than 4 so we go to the this side uh, right side and then again a uh, 6 8 is greater than 6 so we go to this side 7 and when we find the distance of 0.68 to 7.8 is see that it's 1 now if you draw the circle around it it does not intersect any of the partitions as we see and we can calculate the distance to the closest partitions and it is 2 which is greater than the uh, minimum distance of 1 that we have with this point and therefore we assign the point 78 as the nearest point to the point 68 and so that's how the kd tree uh, method works now suppose if we have to find two nearest neighbors in that case uh, we'll repeat the process uh, we have this first point and then we can find the second point uh, based on the distance that is uh, larger than the first one and then the second distance would be minimum uh, excluding this particular data point again we draw the circle we check all the partitions and then find out uh, if that is the second nearest data point to 68 in this case it is and so because that distance is 2.2 and there is no other data point near it now ball tree is another method in which uh, let's say we again have these cloud of data points there are, uh, we select one random data point and then find the farthest data point from that so let's say that is the farthest point uh, distance 5.66 now we pick this data point 1 2 and find the farthest data point from 1 2 and that happens to be 7 8 and so we draw a line between those straight line between those two and project all the data points so that line essentially represents the direction of highest variability and uh, we then project all the data points on this line then uh, so as shown here and then we find the median so the center point and divide this data into two halves so one is on this side and other one is on this side now in each of the halves what we do is find the centroid for these data points so we have a centroid that is here for the this lower side and for the upper side we have a centroid that is located here shown by the black dots now with that centroid what we need to do next is find the find a data point in each of those separated halves that is farthest to the centroid and so in this case this data point is farthest in this case this data point is farthest so with that farthest distance as a radius we draw a circle around the centroid 
and so those two are now two separated groups for, for the data points now we repeat the process again within each of those circles so let's say for this circle again uh, we find the centroid so let's uh, in this slide what i'm trying to show is this dotted circle which is the largest circle encompasses all the data points and uh, here on the right hand side we are creating the ball tree where the uh, circle one has all data points then we have circle and circle two and circle three which divide them and then we'll proceed from there so here on the left hand side uh, this circle we again find the centroid uh, if i pick a point at random and then pick the farthest point and pick the point farthest from that draw a straight line project all the points on that line and uh, again on the this circle we pick a point at random find the farthest point then pick a point farthest to this point draw a straight line project all points on that and then we find the median for these two sets and uh, then that median divides these data points further into two halves again and so now we find the centroid for each of those two halves so here we have this half on this side of the median and on uh, this side of the median we have this half and this is the centroid similarly in this circle we have this is the median so we have a centroid in that side and a centroid on this side so here what we do is with the centroid that we had we create another circle with the radius that is equal to the farthest data point and same thing we do here and again on this circle we have these two centroids we uh, uh, find the data point that is the farthest draw a circle with it, that distance as a radius and thus we have the smaller circles within the larger circle so within two we have five and four as shown in the tree on the right hand side again for the circle three we have six and seven as shown on the circle in the uh, as shown here in the uh, tree on the right hand side now if we have a new query point or a test data point that we need to uh, find the nearest neighbor uh, let's say we have a data points eight five uh, denoted here by the red x so we, what we can do is we can traverse through this tree and uh, we are within uh, so we traverse through this tree and we find the distance to the nearest centroid so we are within the circle three and within circle three we have seven and six uh, balls and we find the distance to those and we see that uh, the distance is uh, eight five is closer to the centroid of ball six which has distance of 2.1 and so we consider that uh, data points within that region as the closest and then we find the distance to the data points in that region and we find that this data point 83 has a distance of 2 uh, which is the uh, smallest distance and so we assign that data point as the nearest data point to the uh, data query point or the test data point 85 so that was it for this video i hope in this video you got at least some intuition about uh, what are different algorithms used to find the nearest neighbor such as the brute force method ad tree method and the ball tree method in the next video we'll look at uh, how nearest neighbor methods work and uh, which use these algorithms for uh, finding the nearest neighbor please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you